Hello everybody, it's Ezra Time again and welcome back to another reaction videos. And today I'm gonna be reacting to Game Theory FNAF 7 The Untold Story of Sister Location, which is of course by Matt Pat, the man himself. So um yeah without further ado, let's just get into the video, shall we? <coughs> no. No. Yes. No, God. Yes, no. Matt. No. <laughs> Yes. No God. No, They're back. No. FNAF's back. No. <laughs> oh yeah, the intro. I love the intro, guys. No, 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 no. No. Pam pam da na da da na 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 Let's talk about this thing. What are you wearing, man? A pajama? My all that's unholy pajamas? FNAF is sorry. somehow back. Someone yeah. <laughs> got together their little summoning circle of Funko plushies and recycled Chuck E. Cheese pizza and awakened the sleeping behemoth that is Scott Cawthon. And now here we are with a new trailer for FNAF 7 and me in children's pajamas. So thank you, Internet. <laughs> also, can we just agree that this is creepy, right? Not me wearing kids' PJs. I think it's though. cute. Maybe. That is really weird. No, the fact Kinda that weird. I'm in a nighty that is dedicated to an animatronic that gets dead children stuffed into him. Mmm. I mean, that's oh, kind of creepy. Merch in 2019. <laughs> yeah, indie games. Oh, March 2019. Now, at the end of last summer, <laughs> FNAF was basically done. The book series had concluded, FNAF 6 had burned the series to the ground, and Ultimate Custom Night ended the story yeah, by trapping exactly, William Afton in eternal torment. All Technically, really it's over. The movie. Just like Jeremy Except the movie. to rest on a nearby hillside, it was time for the series to finally rest in peace. But then, back in November, Scott hopped onto Steam to give mm. all us fretheads there an update, is. and suddenly, the movie was the least certain thing of the group. Mm. A VR game? An AR game? More books? A third exactly. new game called Into Madness? Clearly, Scott intended me to be the protagonist of that one, since that's exactly where I'm headed to with so much <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Into Madness. Even a triple Map A test. game where apparently yeah. instead of stuffing children into animatronics, they start getting stuffed into loot boxes. <laughs> Fast forward mm, four months I mean, to today, and here we are with the first new Scott Cawthon teaser in nearly a year. A teaser for one of the items well, the on this VR game. list of animatronic horror sent to taunt me. But which one is it? And what it means for this new era of FNAFing is Underwear, exactly what bumper we're stickers, today. Battle Royale. So, let's <laughs> really? get analyzing. First, let's just assess what we're seeing here, shall we? Mm. Clearly, you have five animatronics that are all melted together, which would be yep. interesting enough on its own. But making it even more compelling is the fact that they all span the history of the franchise. You have Freddy, Foxy, and Bonnie all in their FNAF 1 forms. But then you also have the pre-mangle form of Funtime Foxy from Sister Location mm. and also pre-trapped Spring Trap from, well, a lot of different trap. scenes throughout the series, but most notably from the Fruity Maze minigame Day oh, yeah, the, 6. The you can Fruity actually Maze. tell this based on the general shape of the nose, as well as the mm. lack of decay <laughs> and aging that you normally see post-Springlock failure. But since this is a Scott Cawthon teaser, you know that there's going to be more here than just a cool image. Yeah, exactly. If you throw this thing into Photoshop <laughs> and start brightening it up, step one in any FNAF teaser analysis, <laughs> you're going to see the background Every single time. lines. Lines with some oddly inconsistent spacing. Mm. And of course, mm. you have text. The quote mm. is from Fazbear Entertainment in the upper right hand corner saying that everything is working as intended, but also a not quite so hidden bunch of text right here in the middle of the image that you really gotta squint to truly oh, read. Oh, yes, the Don't uh, listen to that blank, text. <laughs> let something inside. <laughs> it was an accident. <laughs> Remember Jeremy. Jeremy? That's the guy from the gravestone. Exactly. The night and the night the guard from the FNAF, FNAF 2. 2. The supposed bite of 87 victim. Ladies and gentlemen, sound <coughs> the alarms. We are talking <coughs> about the lobe lad himself. Oh, sorry, which guys. means that there is only one option here. We are in the same continuity. <laughs> hmm. Cue the party horns and cheerful children sound effects. <laughs> yeah. So we're all eager to throw out our textbooks at the end of last semester, guys. Okay, it's sensei. Time to break out FNAF lore for dummies. One final time. <laughs> the Laura Fnaf. What do you do? <laughs> Who's excited? 
this guy, I guess. <laughs> now, creating well, my own I'm excited, so... <laughs> ...has taught me a lot of things, specifically better ways to hide and code messages. And one particularly effective but simple way to do it is by opening image files as text files. Hmm. So if we open this image file in Notepad, we actually get our answer to that first missing word. Don't listen to them. <laughs> we let something inside. It was an accident. Remember Jeremy. So with all of that evidence compiled, let's start <laughs> analyzing before we start digging deeper because there's a lot deeper to go ladies and gentlemen mm. we are just scratching yeah. the surface now the phrase remember jeremy actually tells us a lot of things here first it tells us both the speaker of that line and the person it's directed to know who jeremy is secondly it tells us that the events of this game are happening in the aftermath of his death which at this point is mm. commonly accepted to be the result of the bite of 87. so from a timeline yeah. perspective it looks like this quote is coming after 1987 meaning that that were after the string of murders in the FNAF 2 location and oh. around the time of Michael Afton's revisit to the FNAF 1 building and his discovery of sister locations location. In fact, <laughs> knowing where in the time Yeah, I just remember locations. <laughs> seeing those lines in the background of the teaser, my mind immediately jumps to prison bars. Now, that hmm. seems like it might be a stretch. Clearly, these it's are just kind of makes sense. And, you well, know. yes, that's probably what they are. The inconsistent <laughs> spacing still felt weird to me, and it resembled the narrow strip of horizontal bars that many prison doors have. Now, think back, way back to when this story first started. Back to the secret newspapers from FNAF 1, the things that first told us that there was a deeper story to begin with. Quote, video surveillance identified the man responsible and led to his capture the following morning, end quote. And on the follow-up story, headline, five children now missing, suspect convicted. While the suspect has been charged, the bodies themselves were never found, end quote. So if these newspaper clippings are still considered canon, this former employee was convicted, meaning that they found him guilty, and as a result, most likely he went to prison for his crime. And we can be fairly confident that this isn't Afton, since yeah, he's only come up in Afton. Done, obviously. The spring lock failure and the eventual exactly. eternal torment in HE double toothpicks. Meaning huh, that there is hell. still a potential story to be told of someone there who's trapped in prison, wrongfully accused, haunted by the nightmarish amalgamation of animatronics that got him mm. thrown into the slammer. At least that's my wishful thinking for a potential plot. I mean, this makes stories. sense. Is it the you story know? that we're getting in this game? Probably not. But a boy in Freddy pajamas can dream. <laughs> really? <laughs> Let's go back to the text. Don't huh. trust them. That them could be referring to the animatronics, or it could be referring to the members of Fazbear Entertainment, that quote hmm. in the upper corner saying that everything is working, working as intended. Now, as established by Ultimate Custom Night, the only haunted characters who still possess rational thought are Baby and the Puppet. The others are like animals. Exactly. But I am very aware. Which eliminates everyone that we currently see on screen here, thereby making it doubtful that the them in this quote is referring to the animatronics. Instead, this seems to be two employees of Fazbear Entertainment talking to each other, basically confirming not to trust what the bosses are saying. All the other lines here, we let something in, it was an accident, remember Jeremy, seem like those same co-workers realizing that something is wrong and that it relates to a mistake that they made a mistake that's ultimately related to jeremy's death and now mm. they're both worried about their own survival remember jeremy seems to me to read more like hey remember that guy we don't want to end up yeah, it's like gonna him. sound like that so now looking back across the games what are some of the mistakes where something deadly has been let in well you got spring trap being led into fazbear fright in fnaf 3. Spring you have trap, basically the FNAF entirety 3. of fnaf 6's salvage mini games and entered from sister location entered who funny enough during the false ending to that game repeatedly begs you to let him in. You must help us. Oh yeah, and the uh, you must let us the inside. fake ending. You have to let me inside the room. I know it was an accident. It was and an where accident. In the series, do we have two co-workers who wind up dead? Sister location, they let right? Inside? 
Maybe. Sister location. Yep. Again. Sister location. Now, it's a scene that's really easy to forget, but night five of Sister Location actually starts with Michael Afton crawling through the vents and suddenly coming across the hanged bodies yeah, of two there it is. former two technician co workers done in by the newly escaped pieces of Ennard. So we have something where the placement in the timeline makes sense. Mm -hmm. The relationship of the characters to Jeremy as co workers makes sense. Okay. Their skepticism of Fazbear Entertainment makes sense. definitely makes sense. And yeah, you know exactly. What? That's not all. Their role, specifically as technicians, also makes sense with everything that we're learning about this new game. You see, yeah, Scott wasn't content to just give us one teaser. <laughs> oh, no. He gave us eight separate images teasing this yeah, new game. Yeah, there is eight Here, images, by the way, Make guys. up for lost time. Thanks, buddy. I mean, sure, we I just mean, analyzed the imagery know, and text you know. of this one image, but if you check the source code of Scott's website, which at this point is FNAF research step two, right after mm. brightening up the images, you'll notice odd strings of text, all with this tag, content equals. Well, if you take those strings of letters and plug them into the URL bar, it reveals a trove of new findings. The first and most oh, important that's how of people them find it. playing as a technician. I Here, always wonder where image, they find it, but actually see I find out now. Opened up, ready to be worked hmm. on, which perfectly coincides with what Scott teased when he initially mentioned the possibility of this new VR game. Quote, hmm. if you liked repairing Funtime Freddy up close in sister location, just wait <laughs> no, until you Scott. try to do something like that in VR. VR up close and personal with these oh. huge animatronics that are just one mistake away from jumping at you. Oh, another of these images, the one of sorry, guys. I'm not even surprised. I'm also sorry. Is teasing at this idea of no longer being a guard, but rather an animatronic tech having to repair all of these robots. So, could the main story of this new FNAF game actually be the story of these two hapless technicians who end mm, their maybe. lives in an underground room? It's kind of makes bunker? sense. If the actually, on this teaser is to be believed, the answer seems to be a solid yes. If yes. it is, it even relates back to the title of the game. You see, going back to look at the source code yet again, you see that the original teaser image is listed as hw.jpg. Now, back Help in wanted. February, my buddy Docco <laughs> tweeted out that a new FNAF game had gotten leaked hey, on the Docco. ESRB ratings website. The ESRB, man, get your act together. <laughs> First, you leaked the Super Smash Brothers 4 roster, and now you're <laughs> leaking the new FNAF game. It is time to stop. It's time stop, to stop, okay? Guys. <laughs> and yes, this time is someone else's meme, but I thought it was appropriate for the situation. <laughs> Plus, I'm in pajamas. Thought it would be funny. <laughs> there it is. Filthy Frank, we miss you. But in all seriousness, this game's cool, title <laughs> is Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help, Help Wanted. wanted. Yep. H W, just like the name of the teaser image. The description for this leaked game even confirms that you will be playing as a technician. Quote, once again, players assume the role of a repair person tasked with monitoring and repairing animatronic characters at a pizzeria. Hmm. From a first person perspective, players explore dark hallways, complete puzzles, and try to avoid menacing malfunctioning animatronic figures. The game contains frequent screams and jump scares with the oh. words, you are dead, Appearing on screen after players are attacked. End quote. And what happens when you lose two technicians to sudden animatronic related fatalities? Time to find some more. Throw up the sign. Help. Oh, okay. So we have ourselves a VR game starring a technician who's repairing animatronics, slowly coming to That's realize very that they've made a terrible career decision. Or mm. Dude, exactly. Looking across all the other teaser images, it feels like this whole game may actually be disconnected. We see scenes from all the various I mean, settings it's kind of visited seem in this franchise. Disconnected. The tile floor behind that old model of Bonnie suggests but, that it's the Fnaf you know, 1 location. This shot of Springtrap looming in the in background FNAF tells 3, us that we're going to be visiting Fazbear Fright. The appearance yep. of Funtime Foxy in the teaser suggests that we'll be visiting Sister, Sister location, location for some challenges. Heck, we're even going to be invading the crying child's bedroom from Fnaf 4 based on this shot of Baby. No Notice yeah, the exactly. The bad. It's from that game, as well as the bedspread design mm. in the background. So, is this game just going to be a bunch of vignettes, a compilation of the series' greatest mm. scares? Only now they're in VR. I don't 
think so. I don't so. think so. I do yeah. think that this game can and will tell its own unique story that builds out the lore of this franchise. And one of these teaser images solidifies that for me. True to form, Scott hit his biggest reveal the deepest. You see, going on to Scott Games one final time, and it's a lot of times to visit Scott <laughs> Games just for one you teaser have to image. Bit, Something you know, seems a lot of time a if you want to If you're know. paying close enough attention. You see, the meta label for the website oh, is yeah, the with a zero the in zero. I just noticed that. And if you go through the source code with a is really that, like related to something really maybe eye, you'll actually notice a couple more typos an R in content mm -hmm. a big old G in block quote and an N in the word text zero R G N oh. origin Take those letters into the no, URL no. bar and you get this now Clearly, it's been oh, obscured what was that? very heavily, but if you blur it... I didn't see that, guys. Seriously, I never see bit, that. ...change some of the levels, you mm. actually get something that looks more like this. Something that doesn't just look like an animatronic, but one animatronic in particular. Mm. Notice... Is the that Anart, maybe? It's Ennard. It's ah. Ennard's signature appearance. Half-closed eye, horizontal, yeah. tube-like lips. Mm. An endoskeleton looking to be let in. So... There you have it. We have ourselves a new VR game telling us the story mm. of two technicians who made a fatal career decision. Based on the fact that the game already has a rating, I'm assuming that we're going to probably see this one coming out pretty soon. It's weird, actually, to think about a FNAF game coming out on something like PlayStation 4. Yeah, PlayStation I mean, it's kind, of, it's kind of weird. I'm excited to see it. Especially Will FNAF I be right in my predictions? PC, well, you know? we're just going to have to wait and see. And by wait, I mean it's probably out already now. As soon as I hit publish, it probably came out because, you know, that's how Scott goes, right? <laughs> about to hit publish. Is it is it out? No. Is it out yet? About <laughs> nope. now. No, Matt. Right now. No, Matt. <laughs> there. Nothing. Well, the trailer does. <laughs> All right, screw it. I'm gonna go get out of these pajamas. Okay. <laughs> but hey. Did yes, you just a the new oh, theory no, where no, no. we call it chaos theory? It's a name. Okay, wait, hang on, hang on. Is this like a March commercial? Yep. Hang on, guys. I'm, I want to see that if there is something in the end, maybe. Oh wait, here he goes. Hang on a second. Start saving and enter that theoryware contest today. Now, if you'll excuse me, this FNAF teaser actually has something else that I need to talk about, but that is for next week. Next week. Oh, yes. <laughs> and uh, by the way, Kirby <laughs> is coming. Just, just FNAF is more timely. And unless I talk about FNAF, people will hound me on social media nonstop. So, Kirby's there. Just like, Part two is uh. it's it's there. It's ready to go. Just have to get FNAF off my chest. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay Matt. <laughs> I always come back. <laughs> I love this quote actually. But is it? I think it's, this was said by Scrap Trap. Like, I always come back. Like, I can't actually do the voice. I'm sorry. So um yeah, that's the game theory, you know, FNAF 7, the untold story of Sister Location by of course Matt Path himself. Um this is really really interesting actually because once again I thought I thought guys that FNAF is actually over, you know the game. Because especially FNAF 6, like is pretty much tying up everything about the lore. Like the story is pretty much finished in FNAF 6. And then Ultimate Custom Night came out. Well, I I never actually see that as a main series. It's more like a spin-off series, you know, of FNAF and pretty much fun game of FNAF. Sure, there is a lore in Ultimate Custom Night that is revealed that we're actually playing as William Afton in Ultimate Custom Night. And we're actually trapped in the purgatory. Is that what you guys call it? The purgatory hell? <laughs> Killing over and over again by the animatronics. And for me, the ultimate custom that seems like like the, an epilogue of the FNAF lore. While FNAF 6, well FNAF 6 is over, like pretty much everybody dies, you know, the soul is free and... The soul is already free, but like these four main animatronics, this actually have... Like has, still has this soul, you know, like... You know, like William, you know, Elizabeth, you know, um, Henry's daughter... You know, and Molten Freddy, which I think, you know, Afton's wife. Um, and it's pretty much burned down, so everybody dies, I think. And Ultimate Custom like, is like an epilogue to the story, well, for me anyway. Because it's kind of like only like tell you that, oh, you're playing as William in Ultimate Custom Night. Like, this is what happened to William. 
And then on November last year, Scott announced this bunch new uh, new FNAF project. And don't get me wrong, guys, I love when he actually keep making FNAF. And I just uh, no, I just thought that it was over, but apparently no. <laughs> there is still well, technically this wasn't a main story anyway for me, based on MatPat's theory. Um, theory, if actually true, um, it's more like an extra story of the lore. You know, you just. Basically, there is uh, some characters that actually like, oh, like in sister location, two technician die, and of course, it never actually ex explain like who is this technician and you know why he well why he why they die. Well, it's kind of obvious why they die, but they never actually ex explore that. And me personally, I kind of like fine by that, but I'm kind of glad that Scott decided to. If this is actually the story about the two technician, I'm really glad that Scott decided to. You know what? Let's give let's give like a story for the technician over here um that was really, really cool actually that he actually makes some extra content of the lore especially about the fnaf 1 lore because fnaf 1 the lore is not much it's just basically on the newspaper which is matpat point out and it does mention once again matpat is pointing out that somebody's you know captured and convicted you know to the prison obviously and i'm really curious that we actually did we actually gonna find out like what happened to that person like how is he's gonna get out from this situation because obviously he's not the one who doing it the one who doing it is actually William Afton or the purple guy um, so yeah basically I'm really, really curious to see the FNAF VR game help wanted even though I can actually play it because I don't have a VR headset my I want to use my money for you know upgrade my PC obviously so I can play more type of game and I'm planning to buy a PS4 like there is so many things this, that I wanted to buy and if I have a VR I want to play this but the, pro the problem is I don't have a VR and this room is pretty much crap <laughs> there's like a bunch of stuff here and there I probably can st if I if I have a VR I probably can play it uh, even though it's maybe it's kind of disturbed because you guys can see it but over here like over this one right next to me is actually a table so I don't think I'm actually gonna able to do like a VR let's play of it because well I don't have a VR and I don't have enough space I think you know like room for for me moving around so yeah I hope I can buy it I hope I can you know you know like um, have some space you know more so I can play this VR FNAF VR game and basically you know just upgrade the equipment and everything like that but anyway back to this to the subject um, it's really, really cool that Scott did this and and I don't think FNAF is going to be over soon because every single time Scott said oh it's the last game of FNAF I don't trust him right now because he's the the world's biggest game troll you know developer troll especially FNAF 6 like he trolls everybody and I think in FNAF 3 he kind of did like a troll game or maybe in FNAF 4 I kind of forget um, yeah, basically it. I don't think FNAF is gonna be over soon. Especially there's a movie coming out. Um, I already can't wait for the movie. And I hope Scott did the movie well. You know, sure, you can focusing on the game. Sure, but I hope Scott does focusing on the movie, of course, you know. Because I really can't wait to see what the movie is like, you know. Especially the official movie of Five Nights at Freddy's. Because I saw a ton of FNAF fan movies. So, and they're all good. But I, I'm really curious to see how... The official movie of it, you know, like how Scott or Blumhouse exactly like bring the these animatronics to life in big screen, you know. I I I can't wait for that. So yeah, once again, guys, Matt Patry was really really good. Once again, never let me down, and I kind of feeling that his theories might be true, like not a hundred percent, but I'm gonna guess ninety percent true, or maybe not. Who knows? It's just once again, it's just a theory, okay, guys, a game theory and um yeah if you guys want to watch the original video i will put a link in the description below and if you guys enjoy my recent video please leave a like and comment guys um yeah that's pretty much it actually and once again thank you for everybody who've been supporting this channel who've been like watching this channel and yeah i just want to say thank you for everybody who being yeah took their time watch my videos and you know supporting this channel i really, really appreciate you guys okay you guys are awesome <laughs> and um yeah once again hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next one bye